Hey there, Dot Simulate here with a update to Stream Diffusion. This is officially version 0.3.0, which is a full rebuild on both the local and the Daydream hosted backend. You'll notice if you've used Stream Diffusion before that a couple of the parameters have been shifted around. Everything now has a one-to-one -one parallel for all of the same exact parameters and things used for the cloud version with Daydream and if you're running it locally on your GPU. And you'll also notice that we have a couple new parameters and sections like this IP adapter, as well as the model ID up here at the top with SDXL as the default model. And right now, if I go to the install page, you'll see that I am in the daydream mode for the backend. You can also switch to local, but let's switch back to daydream. We now have three models. Previously, only SD Turbo was supported, but now SDXL, a 1.5 stable diffusion model, and SD Turbo is supported. SDXL is the default, highly recommended to keep it on that and just use that. In the control net page, we have a slightly different layout. I'm gonna go over that in a little bit here. And then the models page, if you're using Daydream, you don't really have to worry about that. All you have to select is this first model on settings one page. With the last release, 0.2.99, with the Daydream backend, there were a couple Python prerequisites. You also needed FFmpeg and needed to set up a couple of things. None of that is required now. All you really need to do is hit this Git API key and docs. It'll open a little menu, hit Git API key, which will open a web browser. Then once you're signed in, you can hit new API key and select something like key test for TD random name, hit generate key, and then copy this and copy and paste this into the API key parameter. And that'll say loaded and it says ready to connect, go to settings one to start streaming. And before you do that, you might wanna just set something up in your network. Let's place a movie file in, just a little simple banana, and then let's just get it started. You'll see a couple new options for the UI here. And also if you hit A when you have the operator selected or this plus little star icon at the bottom right to create the viewer active, then you will see we have this default fancy banana with a slightly fancier banana here on the output. And then you can start just changing your settings and get different things going on. If we go to control nets, uh, I only have the depth control net enabled, but if we turn that up, we'll see the effect of that control net. We're getting a lot closer to the input image. If I was to add a transform, I'll go into a more structured tutorial later with Daydream and also with local, but this is just to show a little bit of the effect of the input video. I'm definitely gonna have future videos coming very soon with more project-based overviews covering the local installation and setups with that and also with the daydream api because now all the parameters like i said earlier are one to one and looking at some other exciting things if i copy and paste the movie file in and find ourselves another wonderful little touch designer classic maybe our butterfly we have this new ip adapter and i can drag any top onto this and hit update image. So do note that this IP adapter is pulse based. So you will need to hit this anytime that you want to update or change the source image. If I drag the step up to one, the closer we are to one, the more creative and farther from the input image it will be. And then closer to 49, it will be exactly like the input image. I still have a little bit of control net. So I'm going to disable that here and then bring our step all the way up to one. So we're just at a default banana. We can scroll through the seeds as well to inject random seed generation there. And then let's bring our butterfly influence back up. And then looks like all the way at one, we have a little bit of a butterfly. It's kind of honestly uh, not, the, not the most impressive looking butterfly. It looks a little slug-like, but I guess maybe that's what you get in between a butterfly and a banana. But I just wanted to kind of like highlight as I release this, how quick and easy it is for you to get started trying out or mess around with, especially SDXL and the multiple control net stack and the IP adapter and some of the new features. There's a lot exciting in the space right now with like real time diffusion stuff. A couple of the people that worked on the original Stream Diffusion project have created Stream Diffusion V2, which is a, actually a real time video model instead of an image to image generation model. And there have been a couple other models similar in the space that have recently come out. Many open source, very 
big, powerful things that you're likely not going to be able to run on a single GPU locally. But there's definitely a sense that we're moving towards a time where we are going to have some version of this that we can run locally, which is pretty exciting, especially if these services open up all the parameters and really let us play with it like a synthesizer instead of a black box. And that's what I'm looking forward to. There's a ton more to unpack, especially on the local side. SDXL runs locally on a 4090 at like 30 FPS. Also this effects page, it's very promising on that side. And I'm excited to see what the community does with that. And then also when you have the local mode enabled, all of these same parameters are one-to-one as long as that setup works on your local hardware. So all that being said, expect more information coming from me soon and I am excited to see what people do with it. For anyone that has been following LOPS, that is also due for quite an update. I have made a lot of improvements on that, expect more coming soon. I would love to see what you're building with these tools, with LOPS, with Stream Diffusion, with Comfy TD, with all of these things that I've built in Touch Designer, especially post your art in the Discord, reach out to me there if you have any issues, and I am going to be posting more soon. And you can find this new version of Stream Diffusion TD on my Patreon at Dot Simulate. And I will catch you all later. Thank you to all my Patreons for the support. Have a good night. Peace out.